it's quite affecting actually to to close your eyes at the start of the process and 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 feel what's being done to you and then three hours later you open your eyes and you look at yourself and all of a sudden you look like your your mother or something like that um but it's it is also it it has freed me up in a, in a way because I think that it's a great endeavor of mine and I think a lot of actors to become kind of blissfully ignorant about, about their face and specifically about beauty or about um, flattering angles. And when you're wearing prosthetics, you don't actually consider it to be your face in a way and you are freed to just kind of fall entirely into a character. And so that's been, that's been a real eye opener for me. Um, and and <laughs> um, I'm, I would welcome wearing prosthetics again, actually. Um, I've never played someone who doesn't look like me. I've never had something change on my face for a role. I've changed my hair, I've changed, you know, not not even my eye color or anything like that. I've just changed my hair. That's the only kind of variable that a lot of actors get to work with. Um, and it's it's quite it's really powerful to feel a mask. <laughs> Really?